Hi everyone, it's the Canny Crafter and I am finally here with my flip through of my dog theme ring bound junk journal. I say finally because for you it's just been a few weeks but for me it has been I think a few months. Um, but I've enjoyed every second of it. And look at how tubby this cubby is. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But I love it. So we have wrapping around it. This was from a pajama set. Um, I'm gonna have to put some more velcro here when I find it so I can have that like that. Just because it's a bit long at the minute, I've just got it held in with a, um, a paper clip. I mean, it doesn't need it, but I was gonna use it because it's so pretty and it goes with the theme. So, inside cover, pocket, just a couple of scraps on it. A little tag. I think we made this one on camera. And this was just like a promo thing in a parcel I got. And I thought, oh, look how cute that is. So I just put some paper on the back. Um, so one, it could be a journaling spot. And two, I don't know if you can see, that's perforated. So I didn't want it coming apart. So it's two book pages and then inserted pages so here we have a little page little tuck spot little collage there with a gorgeous tag and on the back of the page just some stamping not stamping stenciling and this little quote sticker I think we made that. Did we make that on camera? I can't remember. I can't remember. Like I say, it's been that long. But this was using the die cut negatives with some tissue paper. So lots and lots of little places to journal on. Oh, they even use them as photo mats. I was actually packing everything away when I found that and I was like, oh, gotta use it. And um, we are yet to make one of these on camera. I did say I would do one. I do have, I have just sorted through all of my paper scraps. So that'll be coming soon. I love it. And this was the old advertising pages out of the book. Birthday card I got. This. I made this. So on my sewing machine there's an option to do free motion embroidery. And I was having a little play. And I made a little doggy. I thought, I'm so proud of it, it's going in the journal. With a large journaling card. Yeah, I made a large tag with that one. And this was family that's because that stick I said family there a fabric cluster oh now this I didn't know if you could really write on it with it being some of the dots so dark so I just stitched across a, a little flappy bit of vellum but I just thought that was quite cool and <laughs> a lovely little bully there definitely it's definitely my spirit Dalmatian. Food and naps. So the little notebook. We did make that on camera, I remember that. And our little vellum pouch. Oh, and I just I put a sticker on there. 
this was an idea I had from Barbara 49 Dragonflies. She'd use eyelids to attach some things into my journal. I thought that's a cute idea. So this was something I'd stamped for something else, I think. And you know me, I don't throw anything away. It's all got a use. So he, and this was from um, a tub of plastic toys. And I thought, oh, I'll just tie that through there because again, didn't want to throw anything away. So here we have our with these tea cards. The, oh, they might have been out of those. Um, I don't know if you can still get them because they're probably really politically incorrect. They were like toy cigarettes. They were awful. Oh, hated the taste of them. But my sister gave me those. So in here, we have a large journaling card using up my Dalmatian postage stamps. And then another card on the side there. Oops, it does fit, I promise. Oh, then I found this in my stash, like a little bookmark. And I thought that just fits in there perfectly. And then this was actually a tag from, I think it was a t-shirt. So I just collaged on the front and then I just covered the inside and the back. And I thought I could just slip that over the top like that so it didn't get lost inside the pocket because it wasn't as long as the pocket. Oh, I stamped on those little squares there. And this is just like a little booklet thing. So as I say, loads of journaling or photo mat and space. That stayed on, didn't know if it was going out. And I love that, how simple is that? Just some stencils and a stamp and like a little mat. Mm. I wish I'd made that into a tuck spot. But ho oh, home. Oh. That was using the napkin. Oh, and I covered the back of that stitching just so it would fall. Fall. I can't do words today. Slide in and out of his pocket easier. Another little cluster. A fabric flip with a little notepad there. I'll have to make some more fabric flips, I love those. A crochet pocket from my sister with another large journaling card, again using the stamps. Again, I didn't know how well you would be able to write on that paper, so I just stitched some vellum around it, added a sticker, another little cluster here, which I will admit is late because there was a funky donkey stain. <laughs> oh, I forgot I put this back in the pocket. But, so it's basically a journaling card on the back. With a sliding pocket on the front and another journal and card inside. I want to say it's of my own creation, but somebody else has probably done it. I know I've normally seen them in that orientation, but I wanted it that way. Get another fabric cluster. Again, another birthday card I got. Just put a little stamp there. And I love that embossing with the, um, what is that called? It's like a wax paste thing. Can't remember. Again, words have escaped me. This I got when I bought a brooch for my sister. And I forgot about it and I found it and I was so happy. And I had like a, you can still sort of see through it. It was like a landscape scene on the back. Just covered it with some paper. Little cluster. So that goes in there. I think it was out because I was waiting for it to dry. This was a tag from, I think the same pyjamas that that ribbon came from. 
can't remember. And again, just another little little journaling card there. Another fabric cluster in a tag. I thought that was funny. Live to do with grace and authenticity. And look at his face. Nothing graceful about that face. And again, just something as simple, stenciling and a stamp and a little sticker to make a page. H, sorry. Tuck spot. Another large tag. And the tag in here with a little Scotty dog. It was a brad. And I've just covered the back. Ooh. I'm molding. <laughs> oh, actually, that lived on that page. Little envelope. I just used um, a lady here as a little tuck spot to keep the flap down. Another little card. That was a sticker from a jar of dog biscuits, and I just stuck it on the, some red card. So see, there's, there's stuff to be used everywhere if you just look for it. A nice little journal card. And I put this here, it's like a little tuck spot if you wanted to tuck something extra there. It's, it's very thick but cute little page literally oh so cute and I did bag it and there's Rory again he's just my favourite my favourite we have our removable portable little folio the one that I made a boo boo on but I've saved it so we have a journaling card there a tag just a little decorated cluster here we have another little tag journal card they're one in the same most times and I did another pocket up here little journal and card and our notebook which I stamped, oops, I'm not in stuff over there. I just stamped the pages like I did in <coughs> that other little notebook. And again, vellum on the page so it can be written on. My paper clip from my sister. And I have a little booklet. Which I just think so cute. And then finally, it was from, actually that might have been the pyjamas that was from, but again, just did some stamping, it's already nice and plain on the back for writing on, and another tag. So that is our journal made, finally all done and I can't wait to get using it I already have some stuff in mind I think that's on upside down to so start putting in it some little photographs and whatnot with my coochie pies so I am keeping this one <laughs> the only journals I've kept for myself is the first one I made which was a Cinderella one and this one I'm having a right to do here. Definitely need to um, sort that out. <laughs> but you get the general idea. So I hope this gives you some inspiration. Oh, it's big. Oh, I'm so proud of it. I did, like I say, I had so much fun making this. 
and just because because I love doggies if you're a cat person make a cat journal if you like koalas make a koala journal and I just as I say I think the book is a great base because you're not worrying about covers you're not daunted by how many pages you have to put in because you could have just put like a few pages in and called it a journal and done and as I say with the ring band method you can take pages out, you can add pages in, though I don't think we can really add any more pages in this. And you can rearrange them. So yeah. yeah. I love it. I think it's brilliant. And just there's some junky elements in there, so I don't know if it qualifies as a junk journal or just a journal. There's a there's a few junky elements. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm Nikani Crafter and I'll see you next time. Bye!